Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Keys. Welcome back to a whole new, brand new, wonderful new episode. I can't remember what episode we're on anymore. I blame that on old age and impotence. Maybe that's not going to work. I'm going to assume old age and impotence. I don't know. Maybe impotence is a bad, a bad, uh, bad thing to blame it on. You know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try opening up this road here. I had it before. We were getting some issues with traffic. However, I'm going to give it a shot. I, um, although this is a very nice situation we have here. I think it's going to be even nicer. We create a land of moving. Oh, look at that. We actually don't need this anymore because it looks like power has actually managed to get itself across there. So we can actually get rid of this. Like so. So we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on the traffic here. We might find ourselves in some pretty serious traffic jams, but we'll see. As all the consumers decide to go this direction uh, with their vehicles instead of their hearts and minds. That's not even needed. And if that's not even needed, then this isn't either. We've become a big city, which means we got crematoriums, which is pretty nice. It's probably just in time. So far, I'm not seeing any major traffic problems. However, that can change at any time. Right now, we still have no way for our consumers to drive into this area. They still are reliant on transit. I'm thinking about maybe opening that up though. But I'm thinking about doing it on this side over here. Oh, we still can't build anymore. That's annoying. Let's see here. Oh, I can't do the content manager on that. That's too bad. Okay. Let's go like that. I wanted to purchase this one as well, and then what I would do is make a highway that then went this way, and then connected, and then people could get on this highway to go this way, and then if they want to go home, they go the other way, right? Makes sense? Of course it makes sense. God damn it, Keyes. 
Everything you say makes sense. I know, right? <laughs> oh, lordy lordy. I'm really tired today. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be, but I am. Okay, I'm going to try something. We're going to see how this works. I'm I'm not really sure if it's going to be a good idea, but we're going to we're going to test it out, okay? I'm do an out. We're going to take a highway. It's going to be an out highway. It's going to go here. Gonna zoom around. Let's see. This highway's gonna go this way. And then how am I gonna do this? Uh, I wanna snap this into a 90 degree angle. So close. Close enough, and then we're going to go from here up, like so. Alright, so let's see how our Skyliners react to this. Now, this is the first time they can take a road-based system um, onwards to the to the work. It's the first time ever. And let's see how this our traffic gets handled. Kind of worried about certain places in the traffic, mostly right here. I might just. Actually, I'm thinking I'll just get rid of that. In fact, I might just go like this. Like that. And instead, swap that out for that. I think that might actually be a better idea. A much better idea. And we have off ramps, but there's the only on ramps is you have to go take the actual freeway. Yes, I think that's a better idea. As long as this keeps moving. That's a big, that's an important part. As long as that keeps moving. I am starting to see traffic though. Hit this highway. Pretty hard. There's a lot of people heading out to work now. A lot of people coming home as well. Now the flow is pretty good though, you can see that. There's still some pretty nice flow. And I don't see any crowding there. This flow is still working pretty damn good. For the most part. Everyone's getting to where they need to be. Slight jams here, but considering that it's new, uh, yeah, there's a lot more traffic wandering in here. People are like, no, we don't want to take the subway. We don't want to take the metro. We're going to take the road. And then here we'll start seeing the jams, and these jams are by stupid things like garbage trucks. This is the dumb thing. Fucking garbage trucks. These trucks don't need to go here. There, we have the. That's what it is. Is the incinerators over here, deciding that 
hey, we need to send trucks out here, even they, though they really don't. And that's where we're getting these jams from. For no reason. This movement, however, is quite good. No problems, to be fair. Very small jams, and even that, like, the movement is quite fluid. It's clearing up pretty damn good. Our only issue is right here with those damn garbage trucks. Look at that. Now, there is a way to fix that as well. Uh, we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. And this one and this one can be see just like so Actually, I don't know if that fixes the problem either. Uh, no, it won't. I'm actually going to get rid of that. We're going to do it like this. Like so. No, that still creates light. Never mind. What we want is... Yeah, that's probably our better bet. Got an off ramp that goes from here onto there, like so. Destroying some buildings in the process for no reason. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Okay, we're starting to see mild pile up here, but that's very mild. However, it can increase. But yeah, like I said, that's mild. Very, very, very mild. Watching this one right here, just to make sure that this doesn't get too bad. It's looking all right. However, we are seeing it's starting to pile up here. We might have to go like create another one right here. So 
what I didn't want to do is to create lights. For some reason it is. Five over there. Five oh nine. How is this affecting our transit? It doesn't seem like it is at all. Really? Cool. Our metro is actually making us money. It's our bus that's costing us when our metro is actually making us money. That's interesting. We got a small oil industry, we got a small forestry industry. Woody's wood there's not enough workers. Oh shit. Planks for life. <laughs> I love the names that this game gives. Alright, we're getting power problems. How? How are we getting power problems? Oh, I understand now. We just have every other problem under the sun. Alright. Yeah. Ooh. Giggity. <laughs> no, actually it's mostly workers and customers. That's our only real problem. Workers and customers. Not enough customers, not enough workers. Now that I've done this, open this area up to to traffic, I find that the traffic flow is actually pretty damn good. We've curbed the f we've curbed the traffic problems pretty great. Or pretty well. I notice that it's just we don't have any backups anywhere. No jams, no backups, nothing. Like slight right here, but that's so minor. And it only does it for a few seconds and then it just clears right up. And it's just like everyone just keeps moving. In fact, it wouldn't be surprised if I had an off-ramp that goes straight to here, we'd even have less traffic going this way, because a lot of these guys are going across and then over this way. Jobs or something, I don't even know. Our population is growing, however. It is. availability. We got none. But I might build one and place it right there. There we go. Go deal with those dead people. It looks like 
when I first purchased this game, there was dead people problems all the time. You needed to get crematoriums everywhere. They just so many dead people problems. Just craziness. It looks like that for the most part has been fixed. Garbage looking good. Education, people are getting smarter, cool. More and more people are being universally or er, educated via university. More people are getting educated via high schooling. It's good. Happiness for the most part is pretty good. Office happiness is huge. 96%. Those office people, they love their jobs. Industry is like, nah. How come? Why are you unhappy? Oh, not enough workers. That's why. Ready to wear. Commercial happiness, eh. Residential happiness ain't bad. Who's unhappy? It's this guy. Probably because his house is on fire. Nope. No explanation. Or maybe because it's being built? I don't know. These people are just really angry. There we go. Now they're happy. Oh, uh, they're uneducated. That's why. New people moving in. That's why happiness is kind of meh. Are you guys, are you happy? Yes. And how come? Because I said so. Health. Health care, death care. Health care is looking good. Average health is 69%. Two six citizens. But I can heal up to 300. Residential levels. Is any really? We have some that hit five. You? No. Four. I don't think we have anything that hit five. No, it's all four. We have a lot of that are four, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Um. All oh, these stuff are max because only because they can get to max. Operating man, covered by more services. I'll cover you with services. Giggity. It's wind. Traffic. A little bit of congestion here. A little bit of congestion here little bit right there, a little bit right there, but for the most part, everyone's pretty happy. Good. Very good. Even here. I don't know, other than running over people on motorbikes and driving through cars, it's looking pretty good over here too. Pollution, average ground pollution, 3%. That's all over here. Uh, drinking pollution, drinking water pollution, 0%. Good. Noise pollution, it's pretty damn high not where it counts just where it doesn't count metro stations ah the metro stations they cause a lot of clamor 283 523 Everything's on fire. Oh my god. 
hazard is 25%. One in four houses will just light up on fire. For all the, like, here's the thing. <laughs> we have a population of 15,000 people. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fire stations. That's one fire station per thousand people. Well, no, like 1,200 people. Still, that is insane. That is insanity. We should, and, and one in four houses are still going to be lit on fire. It's out of shit. 534 per people per week are using the bus. Over a thousand people per week are using the metro. Unemployment, 4%. Population, people employed is 7,000 jobs available. 9,000, 10,000 jobs available. We have 52 births per week with a death of 36. So, people are making babies. We're making babies. Outside connections, imports, lots of shit. Exports, some stuff. Oil products and goods. Tourism, weekly tourist visits, 29. And they're mostly poor people. I need a casino, damn it. Land value. Slight high land value over here. Most is kind of in the middle. This, this land is unvaluable. Completely unvaluable. Some resources. We got a couple districts. Leisure. Parks and plaza. Plazas. We got two over there. We got two plazas over there. A couple parks. But for the most part, these people ain't got shit to do other than spend their money at a that is something. Either way. That is that. I don't know why I went, why I went through all those things, but I figured... I never actually went through every single one and checked them all out. A lot of those views, in my mind, are just kind of pointless, perhaps. What I do know, however, is our city is growing. It's growing quite well. Our traffic is flowing quite well. Uh, I realize that separating residential from commercial industrial doesn't really force them to use the metro all that much. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Busy corner shop. Customer service services. <laughs> Top banking. Solutions Incorporated. Tried in accounting. Oh, top banking again. Also another customer services services. Angry Clans mobile games. Is that like Clash of Clans hit knockoff? Uh, what are you? Happy Face Travel In Agency. Financial news. So what's the news on the finances? Customer service services have a lot of buildings out here. So here's the thing about these games is that, for example, I can go to Anger Clams mobile games and change the name of it. However, if my guys are even remotely pissed off about something, that building will get smashed and demolished and rebuilt and then the name changes. So you have to like, in order to change, oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me, I didn't get much sleep last night. I don't really know why, I think I actually had a bad dream is what happened. Anyways, if I were to change the names of all these places, it will just be 
I don't know. It's stupid. Home of the stuff store. <laughs> Discount sales. All the things. Some of these are awesome names. Drugstore 2.0. It's not just getting, it's not just get, you, you know, it isn't just get your drugs, it's get your drugs again. Shop till you drop center. Just a, just a general, general store. M&H clothing. Pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I'm sure there's a, a file where you can modify all these so that it will actually put in more you put in like a bajillion names and it'll more likely to get them all I know is our not actually our population I was going to say our population is still growing but it's not should because we still have places in which they can build and we have desire for residentials anyhow ladies and gentlemen I think this is going to be the end of this episode thank you everyone for watching I hope you really enjoy this series thus far I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it um if uh, you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to continue watching this series and you want to support the channel, please subscribe. And I love you guys' feedbacks, your comments, the things that you have to say. So put it in the comment section below. But until next time, keeps out.